minute. Without objection, Joe Lay from Texas recognized for one minute. I, I thank the speaker very much. I rise today with great enthusiasm to honor and salute Yolanda Adams, uh, an enormous and wonderful talent of gospel music, and to celebrate her 10th anniversary of the Yolanda Adams Morning Show. Many may know that I introduced legislation uh, to make September Gospel Music Heritage Month to honor the many talented Americans who enjoy, sing, write, uh, and provide inspiration in gospel music. Even Elvis Presley, who won his first Grammy through gospel music. I remember young Yolanda Adams singing in a church in Houston and the inspiration that she gave even then, a young teacher who worked until she finally know, knew that her talent was worthy of presenting it to the American people. Yolanda Adams rose to fame as one of gospel music greats, making her debut in 1988. And I remember that, just as I am. Since then, Yolanda has been a wowing gospel audiences. She's been before the President of the United States and all over the world, but yet she's a humble person. And following an illustrious musical career, she began the Yolanda Adams Music and Morning Show. These shows don't last, but her spirit has guided it forward. She connects with listeners, bringing them warm and inspirational messages, and her music and her growth has been wonderful. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that her co-hosts, Anthony Valerie and Marcus D. Wiley, they give love every morning, camaraderie. They make it about just not just a morning show, but a celebration of friends and family. I'm delighted to stand here today to call Yolanda Adams an American treasure a native daughter of Houston, someone who understands God's blessings but is not selfish and provides them to others through her musical genius. Congratulations to you, to you Yolanda, and congratulations for 10 years of the Yolanda Adams Morning Show. I yield back.